All right, who's ready for another episode of Jug Meat Singh embarrasses himself? So he made some a few posts on uh, X yesterday, and it's just he seems to once in a while, like once a week, he kind of goes on these these little rants on X about how he's so great and how he's going to fix all these problems. Again, I can't even say it with a straight face, but let's take a look at the first thing he said here. Polyev wants no rules for corporations. I don't think he's ever said that. But okay, that means skyrocketing rents and more Canadians left with nowhere to go. You mean like what's been happening for the last nine years? And for two of those years, Jugmeet Singh was essentially in, in, in a partnership with Justin Trudeau. Why didn't they fix it? Hmm. Weird, huh? I'll stop rent evictions and rent gouging so you have a safe, affordable place to live. Notice how he never calls out who's doing it. Like, he'll never say BlackRock or, you know, State Street or Vanguard, any of these companies who are actually doing it. He'll just say he'll stop it, and then he won't say how. Let me guess. He's just going to tax the absolute shit out of everybody, right? That's how he's going to stop things. That's really all his platform is. Tax, tax, tax. Give me all the money. That's all he really ever talks about maybe that's why he stopped saying what he's actually going to do because we all know the only thing he's going to do is just tax people so then he says for new democrats a home is a place for your family to live and grow for conservative it's a way for real estate invest investors peers donors to make more money again what's happening right now okay if you bought a house 15 years ago you can likely sell that house for double, if not triple, what it's worth today. Who's making profits? When, who, is the, who is in charge when this kind of crap was happening? You guys. You've had many of chances to change this, Jugmeet Singh. You've had many chances to vote Trudeau out. And if you really were the good guy, if you really were the answer to the liberals and the conservatives' corruption, people might believe you. But the problem you have is that you suck worse than both of them. So no one trusts you. Except for the people who are actually, you know, somehow convinced that, you know, the NDP is the new party. I would agree that maybe back when Jack Layton was around, you could make that argument. But I'll be honest with you, I don't know that much about him. I just know that he was actually liked amongst a lot of people. But Jugmeet Singh is not liked. At all. And this is why. Because he just said, well, here's what we're going to do. How are you going to do it? Um... I don't know. Well, here's here's all these corporations making profits. Which ones? Why won't you call them out? Robert Kennedy Jr. did. And he actually came up with a pretty good plan, not just to automatically tax people who want to buy homes, but to stop companies from buying up entire residential neighborhoods by changing the tax code, where if you try to do that, you specifically as a company won't make enough money to do it. That's how you stop immoral capitalism. You don't just say, hey, I'm going to tax you at 80% if you make over a certain amount of money. That's just going to cause rich people to leave. And who pays most taxes? Rich people. If they leave, who has to pay the taxes? We do. We don't have the money. Sounds like a good plan, doesn't it? So the last thing I want to show you here is new Democrats will ban corporations from buying homes that are affordable. Where do you see affordable homes right now, Jugmeet? Where, where exactly are these affordable houses? Do you guys have them like under a big tarp somewhere? You, you have like a big reveal plan that you're going to re release all these affordable houses? Where are they? Houses in the, in the center of Hamilton in a garbage neighborhood sell for six, seven hundred thousand dollars now. That's affordable to you? Oh, well, to you it is because you're rich, aren't you? So to you, that's affordable. But to us, to the average people, there are no affordable homes anywhere around here now what's wrong with this dude like we're gonna stop rent gouging build homes people can afford again no plan on how he's gonna do that greedy corporations have had their have had their governments it's time to put out people before corporate interests okay so you're saying that justin trudeau has corporate interests why were you in a coalition with him for two fucking years like all of a sudden justin trudeau's evil now it's like all this, the guy's been evil the whole time, you idiot. I, I just, for the life of me, I don't understand. I'll never understand what the attraction is to this guy. All he does, they, they talk about Pierre Polyev and the slogans. This guy does, he's not even clever enough to have slogans. He's just saying, we're going to stop rent gouging. How? 
But he's just lying, saying that we're going to ban corporations from buying homes that are affordable. First of all, I bet you won't. Second of all, there are no affordable housing. <laughs> I mean, this guy is just... Like, I can't imagine what what it must take for someone to actually believe anything that comes out of his mouth. It's insane. I know all politicians are liars, and, you know, there's for sure questions about Pierre Polyev. However, he is clearly the best option for us to... to like, for, if you want real change, he's the only guy that might give it to us. So you have to kind of vote for him right now, or you're just voting for Trudeau again. Which makes no sense unless you hate this country. Voting for Jagmeet Singh it means you hate this country. These guys have had power. They've had time to do it. And they did nothing but make things worse. Anyone who comes out of the NDP party makes things worse. Olivia Chow, Andrea Horwath, David Eby. Etc. 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 It's 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 insane. I really hope that these polls that ha- that have come out are wrong, and that the Liberals and the NDP don't get almost forty percent of the vote combined. They really should only get about maybe ten or twenty combined, if that. But again, as we saw during the pandemic, Canadians seem to be pretty easily indoctrinated. Anyway, that's going to be it for this video, guys. Let me know in the comment section of what you think about Jagmeet Singh and all this all this crap that he had to say or any other general questions, thoughts. Also, please don't forget to like and subscribe as it really helps grow the channel. Thanks again so much for watching, guys, and I'll be back shortly with a new video.